Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're just stopping in for the first time, my name is Joni Young and I show weekly tutorials on how to paint just about everything. Today I happen to be showing you how to paint a side profile of a lady wearing a beautiful red hat. We're going to be painting the background a uh, really dark color. I'm going to combine some my Mars Black, Dioxazine Purple, Phthalo Blue, hints of turquoise in there. Um, I actually just finished up a painting for my Patreon and my patrons, so I've got some leftover paint here and I decided to incorporate it uh, into this painting for you guys. So I'm going to also be using Titanium White, Little Burnt Sienna, Neon Red, Pink, and Yellow Warm. I'll have a full list of all these colors I'm using, uh, plus links for Patreon, Facebook, um, Instagram, Pinterest, and other places that you can follow along, and especially my new channel. I want to mention I've got a second painting channel. So it's called Paint with Joni. It's quicker tutorials, 15 minutes or less, real time. These are not sped up videos uh, with soft music and different paintings from what you're going to see anywhere else. So all of these platforms offer different and unique paintings. So you're going to want to be a part of all of them. Don't miss out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. I've got a 12 by 16 double primed and stretched canvas. Today I'm going to be using a few filbert brushes and maybe a liner brush. Again, I'll have that listed below the video. Um, to start, I'm going to be using my number 14 filbert brush. If you don't have this size, you can use a smaller one or even a larger one. Just use whatever you have or even a round brush. So no matter what you have, you can paint along and follow with me today. I'm going to just get my brush a little bit wet and I'm going to start coming in with the basic outline and I'll be using, hmm, let's start coming in with a little bit of red first just to outline. I'm going to start with her hat and it'll be about a quarter of the way here and maybe about four inches down from the top. So we'll have part of her hat right here. We're just going to create like a half circle and we can make it a little bit bigger if we need to later on. This is just a, a rough sketch blocking in shapes and uh, building up the colors after this. And just again, a little half circle to be shorter on this end and then longer here. So we can put a line diagonally like this that will help you get that. So diagonal line, and then her hat's gonna come down flat. So we're gonna line up the end of her hat. A little bit bigger now because we're coming in with black later on for the background we can play around with the outline of her hat because we can cover up any other things that we don't like right all those little lines but if you want you can go ahead and just draw it out first as well so the hat's coming down right to about here and we're going to have her in a red dress too, so I'll just kind of catch the shoulder and neck line of her dress. And then the flap of her hat, the back here or the side is really skinny and then comes out like this and then up. line here right that meets up with this diagonal one and then goes down kind of round out if you can this line here so that's where a filbert brush really comes in handy you can just kind of use the roundness of the shape of the brush we're going to exaggerate this a little bit more, bring that out further, scoop. Okay, so even though this looks weird, it's always going to look uh, abstract and kind of wrong during the process of the painting. It's normal. 
So don't think that you need to throw it out or paint over it and start over again. Just believe in um, the stage you're at and just keep going. Ignore all those little voices in your head that say, no, this is junk, throw it out. That's the best advice that I have. And I get so many of you saying, thank you so much. I really needed to hear that. Okay, so right about here where it gets halfway the scoop. So the scoop's here, and we're just going to kind of eyeball halfway. We're going to go down from that and her other shoulder. So it's just a little, don't think about painting a shoulder. Just fill in a little patch here. And go round like this. And then we're going to be adding lots of shadows in here too and building up the color. But we've got a good start here. And then her neck. This is going to be in shadow. So we're part of her face and neck are going to be in shadow. So her neck and then her jaw. Chin. And then her lips. Again, I like the filbert brush for this. It's like a heart. And then it goes up and we'll have her nose in there somewhere in there with some shadows. So I'm going to, like I said, even if it looks totally wrong, just keep going and trust one brush stroke and step at a time, get to the end and then decide even like the next day. Sometimes it takes the next day. You need to rest your eyes overnight um, to, in order to be able to look at it and correctly judge it. So I'm just going to come in now and just paint her hat red. Red is a really powerful color. I love it, but you can definitely um, paint your lady's dress and hat in any shade you want. Adding those highlights and shadows are going to be uh, the same. So that's what you'll learn from this video is how you can take what I'm painting. Well, you can follow along and paint exactly what I'm painting today, or you can do your own spin on it and really make it your own. Now I'm going to bring this part of her hat out a little bit more this way. So rather than down, I'm bringing it out. paint in these shoulders just very roughly again we're just blocking in colors right now and she's got a little bit of a warm red undertone shadow going on in there so Gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of that while I've got my red out and then you can just kind of water it down water your brush down to blend
Okay, so what I want to do is start coming in with um, the black background. And I've got all these colors here, so I'm just going to use them all. Like I mentioned, I was working on another video before this, and I've got so much leftover paint. So I've got some dioxazine purple, phthalo blue, even a little bit of turquoise, and black, burnt sienna. Okay, so I'm just going to start painting the entire canvas. And as I get closer to her outline, we'll be able to use it to add the shadows. A little bit of water will help um, spread your paints around. As we get closer to the head, I'm going to turn my brush this way, pull up and over, sweep up. And a little bit more water. I'm mentioning that I'm adding water when I am because a lot of you don't know how often and how much water to add. So see when we get to this point here, when you get to that stage where you can't get the coverage, a lot of people, your first instinct is to go and scoop more paint up, but there's so much paint left in your brush and on the canvas too, that just a little bit of water will really, really help. You do have the option of approaching this on a already black painted canvas. Um, you would just come in with the shape of the hat and her profile and everything else. Um, you'd have to use a lot more white to make it show up over a dark canvas, but you definitely can do it, and I've done that lots. I wanted to do something different today because I usually show you guys paintings like this on a dark canvas. Yeah, I'm going to go underneath now. And a dark, dark shadow in here. And then we're going to come 
in here. So it kind of looks like an eye right in here. But it's going to be solid. And then we've got these folds. So I'm turning my brush this way to create little lines in her dress. And then just kind of outline here. I'll take a bit of red in with that. And that'll give us some darker shades. Red with my dirty brush, and I'll get a shadow. So, we're here on this left side of her hat, we have a shadow. It's not like really, really dark, not like full contrast like this. So, just taking those dark colors that we use for our background with some of this red is going to give us the perfect shade and also wraps around here and I'm get a little water on my brush just to help work out some of that paint so you've got lots of that dark background color in there and then we've got more shadow here. And then in here where it dips. Paint kind of pattern that we see on here. And as it scoops down here, you see a little bit more water. And my paint is pretty runny and loose, see? So you know the right consistency. That I'm working with so it's kind of like filtering it'll be sort of see-through where it dips down here we get a bit of a shadow and I'm doing it in these kind of lines because of the pattern in the hat and then I'm gonna add a little bit more dark background color because right here it is a little darker. And then I'm going to take black, bring it in. And go over this one, this shadow in here a little bit more, and add a bit of red, the side of the hat. I'm going to work out all of that excess paint out of my brush on a towel without washing it, so I'm still left with a dry brush of a darker color there. And we've got a lighter shadow. It, it just gets a little bit lighter here. Right here and then up. 
along the side of our nose. Now I find that it helps to have my brush turned like this with the handle pointing up. That way I have a bit more control over this shape here. And then under her jawline, where I want to take a little bit of that watered down warm with a bit of red in there. And then a little bit darker right in here. So just gently pull and then go back out. Her neck and a few little few little shadows in here the collarbone and then top of her shoulder here a few little shadows in the folds just a few little lines And then up from her lip, I'm going to bring a line this way. I'm going to really wash all that paint out of my brush, get some of that burnt sienna, a little bit of yellow. Just get a, a warm, whatever warm shade of brown, orange, red that you want. And I'm going to come inside here and right around this shadow. So I'm partially adding it over top. So it gradually goes from dark, dark shadows to some warmer tones. You hear, hear how dry that is? That way you'll get more of a soft look and you'll be able to control it a little bit better, the amount that you're adding. Again, lining my brush up partially on the dark, darkest shadow part. I'm going to rinse my brush out because I, I picked up too much of the dark, dark shadow color. Push that back over there and add a little bit of white this time. To the warm colors. Well, this could also be maybe her hair is coming out a little bit here too. That would look kind of cool. You could add a few little curls of hair if you wanted. It's up to you. Or an earring. I've done the earring a few times in my uh, 
portraits. I've got a whole playlist of figures and portraits, so if you guys are interested and want to check that out, there's lots to learn. Taking my dark background color again, and I'm going to come right in here. add some more shadow under here make it a little bit darker right under the hat see how it gradually agrees and gets lighter a little bit more shadow in there I'll pick up my red and I'm going to come in here and just start adding some more saturation and wherever we have these little folds in our shirt or a dress. I'm having so much fun with this. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this. I love hearing uh, your feedback in the comments below. And a little bit of shadow color here. Maybe the shadows here along the side. Mixing a bit of red in there with purple, black. Okay, with a clean brush, you take a little bit of that neon yellow warm and some white. And I'm just going to work it into her jawline here. Maybe just a little suggestion of her nose. a little bit of red Brush stroke changes a little bit as I get below her chin. Instead of going across, I want to pull down a downward brush stroke. Take some more black, 
little bit of blue in there. Remember those background colors? Just, I'm just brushing over some of this paint to blend it in a little bit better. I'm going to go down to a smaller brush soon and work a little bit more on this area here. Take some white. Add a little bit more red right here. Just bring that in a little bit more. And a little bit more white. A little bit of red. I'll take some pink with my yellow. That'll give me a nice bright red color again. And a little bit of black again. Just get a little bit better coverage here right around her hat. I have to say I like a little bit of this more bluey purple area. So I am going to leave that.
the darker the contrast here, the darker you get it with the black, the more that hat's really going to show up. And that's what it's all about. I just love painting ladies in hats. I think that it's fun and it has a lot of personality and character. Get in between her hat here and the fold of her dress. So I'm going to add a few little shadows in here, little lines. A little bit of white again, clean brush, and go from here, bring it up a little bit. Soften this. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. I've got a small size zero filbert brush that I'm going to be using for her mouth. I'm going to take the rest of my red here and a little bit of black. When I come inside, I make a bit of a shadow. Start outlining her lips a little bit. Just gonna get a little bit more of my red here. All right, let's get some more red. Use the rest to fill in parts of her hat, but I'll continue working on uh, this right now, this area. And get some white. Bring that up so it's like her chin goes out on an angle like that to her mouth. 
and then we've got a little line right there and then sweeps down. Edge of her nose. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of the burnt sienna, blue, black, and I'm going to add a little line right there. For one of our nostrils. Take red and black, mix those together. You really want to just apply the paint on the tip of your brush. You'll have more control. Come out the end and pull it in. Add a little bit more red. It almost comes up into a point right about there. And then rounded. So we still have that heart. And there's also a little shadow between her bottom lip and her chin here. So I'm going to come under, dip down just a little bit like that. It's very, very subtle. Then outline. Now it's wet in here. So that's me placing my pinky there to steady my my hand. Paints a little bit at that kind of tacky wet stage where it's not totally dry. It's not completely wet either. Just gonna hop around here a little bit guys. Go back to that darker skin color that we've got in here. And then remember that brush stroke, not straight across. Back over to my white, bring that up. Just a few little a little bits of white in there. I'm going to add a little bit of a dab here of white.
Okay, then I'm gonna take that white. Minus the black. <laughs> Just make this nice and bright. Got that little shadow that just kind of dips in right there. Go back to my red with the black. More red. Move that out and bring it just out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more of the red to her dress and her hat. I've got lots left over here. Just intensify the saturation. A very thin, thin, thin water down layer of this. See how it can change the tone of the skin so much. I'm just adding the finishing touches here. You can make the lips as full as you want. And if you want them to be closer, like touching, and just make the black thinner in between.
and add just a little bit more shadow on her dress here. I like the abstract flair that this painting has. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really liking where this painting's at right now. Patchy, kind of rough looking. I think it just looks really cool. So with that, I'm going to apply the very last dab of red. I'm going to call this painting done and I want to wish you guys a wonderful day. Happy painting. Thanks again for joining me today. Hope you learned a lot, got inspired. Don't forget to subscribe to both of my art channels. There's links below and Patreon where you can get uh, access to exclusive videos where you're not going to see them anywhere else. You have a chance to support me and help um, me continue to do what it is I love to do. So have a wonderful day. I'll see you all soon in the next video. In my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.